our mission here at Necton is to explore and research the deep ocean. The deep ocean is the beating heart of our planet. But we've come to this point where the most critical environment, the most critical ecosystem on our planet is also the least known part of our planet. It goes that. down into the depth. Yeah, but it doesn't go vertically down. That's really like, you can see how jagged it is and that means lots of interesting terrain, lots of nooks and crannies for animals to attach to. Uh, that looks really exciting to me. Right down to about 900 feet, so this is a brilliant profile for us to work on. Really good. first major piece of work that the uh, XL Catlin Deep Ocean Survey has achieved um, it's provided additional evidence that seamounts can act as oases in the blue ocean. Now much of the blue ocean actually has quite a low biological productivity so you can almost imagine this seamount as an underwater island of productivity. There's the algae growing on top, there's corals growing on top, rhodoliths which are these algal concretions and fish populations on top and that's feeding the surrounding deep waters. We've got coral gardens growing on the flanks of the seamount, urchins wandering around hoovering up these bits of algae flowing down from uh, the summit. So it's a really exciting uh, location for us. There are hot spots of biological activity and yet out of those 130 or 1,000 seamounts or more, um, we've only actually looked at the biology of about 30 or 40. You know, every time we get to do some detailed work on a single seamount, it really improves our overall knowledge of how seamount ecosystems actually work and how they contribute to the overall productivity of uh, the surrounding ocean. to undertake scientific research, the XL Catlin Deep Ocean Survey, so we can understand the state of the ocean, its health, its function and its resilience. 